Welcome to another video exploring backtesting, one of the most important tools for any aspiring trader. Today we tackle a question that plagues traders how far back should the backtest go, and how many trades are enough? Testing on an inadequate time frame or insufficient trades can lead to misleading results. Conversely, an overly broad time frame might miss crucial market shifts. So how do we find the sweet spot? A good rule of thumb is to backtest swing strategies at least 10 years or make sure you include both bull and bear markets. This captures various market conditions from bull runs to corrections, offering a more well-rounded picture. However, consider your strategy's time frame. Day trading strategies might benefit from a shorter window, while long-term strategies might require a longer one. What about trade count? Focusing solely on years can be misleading. You want to have many traders to make a significant number of observations, ensuring your results aren't just random fluctuations. Remember, backtesting is a guide, not a guarantee. The key is to find a balance between capturing relevant market cycles and achieving a statistically meaningful sample size. Additionally, you have to be a little street smart and not overly book smart. If you'd like to know more about backtesting, please check out the link to our backtesting course under the article. If you'd like to know more about backtesting, please check out the link to our backtesting course under the article. And don't forget to like and subscribe so we can provide more videos like this.